Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon, you're watching Israeli News Live. A lot of things are happening in the world right now, and we're going to kind of highlight some of the things that we're seeing going on tonight. But I also, let me make sure we get rid of this volume here, because we keep running into videos popping up in the background, don't know why, but anyway, uh, wanted to be able to share some insights with you guys, and we are working on an in-depth uh, program on what's going on in the world today. All the Russia phobia, all the wars that are happening on in the world, and why are they happening? I've been preparing this in a PowerPoint, preparing this for World Harvest Television Network, for our program that we air there, and I wanted to be able to share this with you guys as well. But it's gonna be pretty in depth, pretty intense uh, news broadcast, It'll be about an hour long. It'll run two parts on, uh, on TV, on Direct TV channel 367. For those of you that do watch, that airs normally Saturday nights at 10 p.m. or I think it's 10, 10 or 10.30. Uh, and But we will be moving to a new time slot. We have put in a request, uh, which would be at early a.m. and mainly because of the cost of uh, running that program, we're trying to cut that cost back some. Uh, but anyway, we wanted to share some of that with you. But at, at this point, some of the things that are happening in the world today are very disturbing. RT News brings out fighters from U.S. back SDF describe an unimpeded ISIS exodus from Raqqa on their watch. In other words, this is the U.S. has not done anything about uh, the ISIS militants that are going uh, through the country here. Let me see if I can actually pull the video up of this. I was watching this earlier today. And um, it was troubling, friends, really troubling. By the way, I've got so many um, slides open here. I'm just not able to, it doesn't, nothing wants to work right right now. Here we go, maybe it'll load up here. Um, but anyway, other things that are happening as well. Um, we know that Rex Tillerson and, and uh, Foreign Minister Lavrov, Sergey Lavrov, have agreed to continue North Korea diplomacy. Uh, according to the U.S. State Department, Reuters has brought that out just yesterday, that they will try to continue diplomacy over North Korea. I don't know how long that's going to last. Uh, I don't give it a, a whole lot of time to really do much good, but that's what the case is supposed to be. Zero Hedge also, uh, Tyler Durden reporting that Russia test a powerful ICBM capable of overcoming missile defense system. That's the Topolo M. It is a supersonic nuclear warhead that Russia has, uh, and no doubt very concerning uh, for the United States, this type of weapon there. Uh, also, U.S., uh, according to RT, U.S. is letting m militants train and mount attacks from Syrian bases, according to the Chief Russian General Staff. They're claiming this from Al Tanf, which is in the southern part of uh, Syria there near the, uh, the Jordanian and Iraqi borders where they come together that cross over into Syria. And also a base up in the northeast where the Kurds have a stronghold uh, where the United States has been protecting the Kurds up in that region there. Uh, just another issues that are going on there. Uh, we're going to be getting into a lot of things, though, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be talking about, like I said, about what's going on with uh, this Russia phobia. Why are we warring against one another? Why is the world in such a chaos? And believe it or not, there is a biblical passage where Yeshua himself, Jesus himself, actually points you right back uh, to what happened during the times of Enoch. And we're going to look into that because it has everything to do with the wars that are going on today. Who's commanding these wars, uh, especially in the light of the fact that we're talking about nations that claim to be Christian nations warring against one another. You know, it's bad enough that the wars go on in the churches where if you're Baptist, the Baptists don't like the Methodists, the Methodists don't like the Baptists, or they don't like the Catholics, the Catholics don't. There's so much hatred and animosity because somebody's under a different banner. Um, and of course, everyone is trying to push their influence, but no one pushes the influence more than when you get into uh, the Eastern Orthodox Church, being the Russian Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church from the West. These two nations will literally go to war over uh, 
different disputes about the world. But yet it doesn't make sense to me because here they are, especially President Putin uh, has really asserted the Christian uh, side uh, uh, and as communism has come down in his country and has really asserted the Christian values of what the nation was like before uh, so the communists took over the country that was uh, Joseph, uh, uh, excuse me, Joseph Lenin and, and Joseph Stalin. These two Jesuits that took over the country that brought in the atheistic type belief in order to suppress the Russian Orthodox Church. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, we see both President Trump and President Putin, regardless of what you may feel about either one of them, are they real or genuine Christians? It's really beside the point. They both uh, claim uh, Jesus Christ as far as to be the Messiah and that this is what their core value of their of their leadership is all about then why would we even go to war against one another but yet that time is nearing at hand uh, so we're going to be getting into those things there and I think it'll be very interesting to you to see just exactly uh, what we've laid out in this broadcast here uh, that will be coming up actually tomorrow. Uh, but I want to kind of give you a little bit of highlight of what was going on because there is a lot of things going on in the world as well. Everywhere we're seeing constant um, fighting chaos just globally. Uh, it's truly as Yeshua says in, you know, in Matthew 24. Uh, as we get down there, there would be wars and rumors of wars. There would be nation would rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. And these are just the beginning of sorrows. Jeez, what comes next? It's amazing. Anyway, I'm Steve Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Be seeing you tomorrow. I know, as I said, it will be a blessing to you. And please, as the year gets ready to close, consider... Uh, giving to uh, Israeli News Live here to keep our broadcast going into the next year. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, Erev Tov.